Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about and and or and if and only if. Uh, and so let's start with and. What are we doing here? Here we go. Here's some simple looking uh, logic problems. We've got to prove P and Q implies P. So let's, I guess we should intro H, P and Q. Uh, and now we've got to figure out what to do next. So we've got we've got a hypothesis P and Q and we have to figure out how to get P from it. Obviously, if we know that P and Q is true, uh, then we know that P is true and that Q is true. So how do we extract P and Q from a hypothesis like that? We use the cases tactic, cases H, P and Q with H, P, H, Q. And there we go. Now you see uh, we've got proofs of P and of Q. And so exact H, P, uh, we'll finish that one. And similarly for P and Q implies Q. Uh, I mean, here's another one, I guess, intro, intro H. Oh, we can do intros H and H, P and Q. Uh, and then we can do cases again, H, P and Q with H, P, H, Q. And now you see we've got, uh, we've got a proof of P and a proof of Q and a proof that P implies that Q implies R. And, uh, so we should be able to do that one. So now let me show you what happens if and is in the goal uh, rather than a hypothesis. So here we're going to do intro, intros HP and HQ. Uh, so now you see we have to prove P and Q. We, we've got all the ingredients. We've got a proof of P and a proof of Q. So how do we prove P and Q? We need a different tactic. Cases is what you use if P and Q is a hypothesis. If P and Q is in the goal, you use the split tactic. And the split tactic has the property that it turns one goal into two. We now have two goals. Uh, so I will attempt to, I guess, I mean, let's put two spaces. There we go. I'll attempt to indicate we've got two goals by indenting two. Exact, exact HP, we can solve that one like that. And uh, I guess exact HQ, we can solve that one like that. So there we go. We went from two goals, two goals to one goal to no goals. Uh, so here, for a, for a lemma like this, we we're going to have to prove, uh, we, we're going to use cases and we're going to use, uh, and we're going to use split. So intro H, cases H with H, P, H, Q, and then split. Uh, and now you can see, I mean, I guess, let's do something slightly cocky. We could do split semicolon assumption. There, that, that, you see that proves the goal. This semicolon means after split, one goal becomes two, but the assumption tactic will uh, will solve both of those goals because both of the goals are assumptions. So if I put a semicolon, uh, that means apply the next tactic to uh, all the goals generated by the previous one. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, I guess these are pretty straightforward. Maybe we should go on to the next sheet. Uh, this is if and only if. Uh, so what do you need to know for if and only if? For a goal like uh, P if and only if P, that's true by reflexivity of if and only if, if you like. So the refl tactic should do that one. And that's done that one. What tactics do we need to know in this one? Refl and rewrite. Uh, this one, uh, P if and only if Q implies Q if and only if P. If we do intro H, uh, then we have a hypothesis that P is true if and only if Q is true. Uh, and so that means that means P and Q are logically equivalent. So whenever we see a P, we can replace it with a Q. And uh, so if I do rewrite H, that will replace the P and the goal uh, to a Q, and the goal will become Q implies Q. Uh, and in fact, that goal is solved automatically by Lean because after every rewrite, uh, Lean tries the reflexivity tactic to see if it works. Uh, and indeed it did. Uh, so I guess that's a sort of a warning for you. If you have if you have P if and only if Q, you can do cases, right? We could have done cases H with H1, H2, or H, H, P, Q, H, Q, P. They would have been better names for it there. But now you can't rewrite anymore. You see, we only have the implications in both ways. And uh, so I guess we could do, like we did in the AND game, you could do split as well, you see. Now you see split semicolon assumption. Uh, so that would be a, that would be another way of doing it. Uh, but the way I did it, uh, rewrite H, that solves it in two lines rather than 
there rather than four. Uh, I guess you see this one here. This is another sort of a great example of something that if you actually do, if you do split the if and only ifs, then um, uh, then this would take you much longer than one might expect. Intros, uh, HP, if and only if Q, HQ, if and only if R. Uh, there. And now what can we do? We can rewrite H, uh, HP, if and only if Q. And now you see the goal has become one of our assumptions. So that's nice and easy. Um, I'll, I'll show you this one just just out of interest. I don't think we can do I think we're going to have to split this one. Uh, and so now, so now we have two goals, and they're both going to be slightly tedious to do. Uh, maybe I'll show you another. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll do one in a, a slightly uh, pedestrian way, and I'll do the other one in a quicker way. Uh, this one, so we could do intro H. Now the hypothesis is H is P and Q and R. So when we do cases H uh, with H, P, Q, H, R, you see we do cases, and but we still, we've, we've still got to, we're still going to take this apart some more, and then cases H P Q uh, with H P H Q, and uh, and now I guess we can split this, uh, split, and that's an assumption, and then we've got to split again, and that's and then those are both assumptions there. Uh, and now the other way, I'll I'll do it a more cocky way. You see, instead of doing intro and then cases, we can do there's a rather more spectacular rintro command. So we can do this rintro hp hq hr. There, that sort of intros and cases or, and takes everything apart straight away, and then exact. Uh, and we do the same trick hp hq hr. There, so that's that's actually the quicker way to solve goals like this. Uh, so finally, uh, let's talk about the OR tactic, uh, and then the two. Sorry, the OR. I mean, I guess the OR, uh, the OR thing, the logic OR thing. Uh, and the way we're going to do this intro HP, we now have to prove. We now have to. You see, we need to turn this goal from P OR Q into P, right? Uh, and we're going to do this with the left tactic. There and now, I, and now this is an assumption. Uh, so the left, the left and right tactics. You see, in this one here, we're going to use the right tactic intro HQ. Uh, and then, if we go right, you you can go in the wrong direction here, right? If we can get, if we go left here, a lot of these tactics we've seen before are quite robust. But if you go left here, you see now we're we're stuck because we have a hypothesis that P is a proposition, but we don't have the hypothesis that P is true, and our goal is P. So this the this level is now impossible to solve because we've gone the wrong way. So let's go, let's go the right way, which is right, and then exact HQ. So you have to be careful with left and right. You need to go, uh, you need to go the right way. So I guess I mean let's do this. Let's finish with this one. Uh, intro HPQ. Uh, so now you see both left and right are the wrong directions. So now if we go left. That goal is unsolvable because P or Q might be true uh, because P is true. And if you go right as well, the goal is unsolvable. You have to do we have to do something else first. We have to do the cases on the HPQ first. Cases HPQ uh, with HPHQ. When you do cases on an and, uh, you, you end up with one goal and two hypotheses HP and HQ in that same one local context. Uh, but here something different happened. And we've done cases and now we've got two goals, you see, because we knew that P or Q was true. So either P is true or Q is true. We do case splits on that. And now and now for each of these, now we know which direction to go in. You see, in this first case here, we go right. Uh, oops. We go right. Uh, and now assumption. And uh, the other way, we now we have Q as a hypothesis, so we go left. Assumption. So there you go. So... That's how these sorts of things work. Don't get lost. Uh, make sure, make sure you go left or right at the appropriate times. And uh, I think you should probably be able to do all the rest of these. De Morgan's laws. Uh, these are quite, 
these are quite tricky. I mean, maybe I should tell you. I mean, obviously, you can prove anything with you, with truth tables, right? There's a torto. There's a torto tactic. See that does that one. And it'll do this one as well. So if you want to do proofs by truth tables, uh, that's the way to do it. But if you don't use truth tables, uh, these ones uh, can be quite interesting, especially the second one. So good luck with them. And uh, I'll see you in the sets videos.